But again, ask yourself the question, if you're going to use an activity like that, you know, what am I trying to get from it? There are certain courses where it's more important than others that people actually are relaxed and cooperating with each other. Uh, if you're running a course, I've, I've run courses in the past on things like your know, confidence and assertiveness and things, which are quite you know, skills-based, but also sort of attitude-based and a bit, a bit personal in some respects. And I know on those courses, I'm going to ask people to share things with each other, talk about things that you find challenging or difficult and things like that. Now, for that, I need people to be fairly relaxed and trust each other and feel that they can be fairly open. I've also run courses in finance in the past, when I used to do courses on tax legislation. If I was running a course on capital gains tax, I didn't need people to be that relaxed, to be honest. They weren't going to open up about their innermost feelings or things that they found challenging. We were going to talk about finance, basically. So I didn't need the same sort of icebreaker. I didn't need to spend time getting people to feel really comfortable in each other's company. You didn't really need to invest that much. So again, you don't have to say, oh, we always have to start with this sort of icebreaker. Sometimes you only need something fairly quick 